everyone. It's Jared Moore back again with another YouTube video today. And today's video, I'm going to be using Power Automate Desktop to add a date to a file name. So if you have an existing uh, file name located somewhere and you want to change the name of that, maybe Azure Flow is occurring, or if it's just a document that is uh, already been done and you just want to rename today's quick video, we'll show you how to go in and set up a Power Automate desktop flow that will accomplish adding that date to either the beginning or the end of that file name. So without further ado, let's hop on in to Power Automate desktop and I already have an example up for you. Before I get into showing you this example and going through it, what I want to do is show you a question that I received on the Enterprise DNA forum that sparked the interest for this video. So let's hop on over to the Enterprise DNA forum. And Kim C here had seen one of my previous videos that I've done on Power Automate Desktop. As we scroll down here, she was just wanting to know in step B right here where my, where my mouse is, is it possible to save the file with today's date appended to it? So that's what we're going to do in today's video. I'll post the link to this post in the comments section below, but let's head on back over to Power Automate Desktop and I'll show you how we can accomplish this um, in, in a couple of different ways. Now that we're back over here at Power Automate Desktop, this is the way I had um, the steps set up in my original flow when I changed the name of a current file. Um, I did it in three different steps. Um, I did one step here to get the current date and time. And, and you can get that just by typing in the, uh, just type in current over here in the actions section here. And double clicking on this would get you this right here. And um, you have different options here. Um, in my case, I didn't want to add the time, but if you wanted to add the time, you had that option there, but I chose the current date only. And you have the, the, the option to choose a time zone. Let's say that if you had a client or something that was at a different time zone that you wanted to, to choose a different time and then hit the save button. But I already had that saved, so I won't do that. And then in the next step here, um, you do the same thing as just adding, um, typing in over here in the actions here, you could type in converts. Convert date, and that would show up over here if I type it in right. So we'll try that again. If I add that space, it'll help. <laughs> All right, so that's that step right there. So if we open this up, so what did I what I wanted to do in my case is that previous step created this variable right here, the current date time. And then I wanted to use a custom format and I wanted to add uh, two days for the month, two days for the day, and then four days for the year. And I want to have that dash in between each one of those. And it shows you the example there of, of how I did that or, or what it will show in your flow right there. And then there was one last step here um, that once you have that current date time, um, set up the way that you wanted it to be set up, all you have to do is, is do a rename file step here. And when you open this up, uh, this is the actual file name that I wanted to rename. And then in this example, it's just, it says recon ar.xls. In this second step, I, I wanted to set a new name. And then in the new file name, all I did was copy this link right here. And then in between, um, at the end of the AR and the dot, all I did was, if you click on this X to select the variable, the formatted date and time was from that previous step. You can just right click there and then paste it into the um, new file name. And what I did after the AR there is I actually just manually hit space bar to create a space. That way that the date doesn't show up right after um, the name of the file there. So that, 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 that helped format there. And then 
Obviously, if the file already exists, but in this case, it doesn't, we'd want to overwrite it and hit save. So what we'll do now, since I have this set up, this is kind of the long way to do this in the flow um, that I've figured out over time. But what you would do is just hit the play button. I already have the file open in the background here. So you can, you can see that I have this file already in this folder here and it's, it's called recon AR. So when I hit the run button here, it only takes, once it starts, it only takes five seconds or so to do it. And then you can see right here in the background that it named it, the file, it added that space and then it added that date and then dot XLS. So we renamed the file there. So what I want to do now is just change it, the name back to the way we had it, which was recon AR and hit the enter button. And we'll give that just a second to refresh there. And I'll go back into my flow here. And just over time, um, as I've dug in more to this, there is one quick step instead of having to do all three of these steps. So what I'll do here is just to state disable, easy for me to say, these first three steps just by um, clicking on the um, first one and then I hit the shift key. And then I clicked on the third step. And then I'm just going to right click and disable those actions. And then I'm going to right click on step four and enable this action. So what I found out a quick and easier way to do this is in one step is just in the rename files step. We have the same file up here. That's that same file that you see in the, in the background here is, is reconar.xls and then rename scheme. You have different options here, replace, um, all this different things. I said, add date time. That's what I have selected. And down here is the steps that you, you do that, that how you want to have this show up in the, in the, in the file name. So what I did was, is, uh, I wanted to add the current date time. So I selected that and then I wanted to add the name. In this case, I wanted to add it after the name and not before. So you have the option to do it before and after. And then the separator is the space or the space bar. That way I don't have to manually, you know, add it into the step above. And then that date time format here is where you can customize and type in your own. Um, as you see on the screen there, you also have the other option as well. But in my case, I wanted to have that two days for the month, two days for the day, and then four days for the year separated by those dashes. And then the override again. I already have it saved, so no need to hit save. So what we'll do here is we'll hit the run button and in one step we'll do what we just did in the previous three steps. Take just a second to run, took like two or three seconds to run. And as you can see, the same thing happened there um, with this right here. It's, 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 it's an XLS file. It just doesn't have that extension on there. Uh, but if you wanted to have that .xls, all you would have to do is just type that into the, uh, the end of the file here, uh, to do that. So that's just a little quick tip today, based on one of the questions that I recently had in the enterprise DNA forum. I hope you enjoyed this tip and I'll be back with either some more, uh, another power automate or power automate desktop or power BI flow or power BI YouTube video in the near future. Thanks again for attending. Hey everyone. Thanks for tuning in to enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website. Plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.